Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. As promised, here's the tutorial on how to make ruffles. I hope this helps you, so stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I already made 30 rows of double crochets for my skirt. Now I'm closing up this row with a slip stitch. So to do that, we have to put our hook through the first stitch of that row and yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. To start the next row, we have to chain 2. Next, we have to make an increase of 3 double crochets. What I mean by that is we have to make 3 double crochets in the same stitch. So to make a double crochet, you have to yarn over and then pull your hook through the next stitch and then yarn over again, pull through and then yarn over. Pull it through the two loops, and then yarn over again and then pull it through. So you have to make that three times in that same stitch. So I already made one, now I'm doing the next Okay, so yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over again, and pull through two. And then another double crochet in that same stitch. Okay, so as you can see, I, I made three double crochets in that same hole or in that same stitch. For the next stitch, you just have to make one double crochet. So again, yarn over, put your hook through the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And for the next stitch, you have to make an increase of three double crochets. So that means three double crochets in one stitch. So for this row, this is basically it. We just have to make um, three double crochets in one stitch or an increase of three double crochets and then one double crochet in the next stitch. So you just have to do it alternately. So here, one, two, three. And then in the next stitch, I have to make one double crochet. And for the next one, three double crochets. One, two, three. One double crochet. You just have to do that over and over until you finish your row. Okay, so I already finished that first row of ruffles. Now I closed up this row with a slip stitch. And I'm starting the next row by chaining two. For this row, you just have to do the same thing over again. Make three double crochets and one stitch. Then make one double crochet for the next stitch. And do that alternately.
so as you can see here my ruffles are getting more um, texture and shape and why did I do this you know that increase is very very tiring because you have to make a lot of stitches but I promise it's all worth it in the end see here I'm nearing the end of this row so I just painstakingly did all of those um, increases and in double crochets so once you finish your second row don't forget to close it off with the slip stitch and I was just starting learning how to crochet. I didn't know that you have to um, close your rows with a slip stitch, so my rows always seemed wonky. But now I know better, and I'm teaching it to you guys so you don't make the same mistake that I did. Okay, so that's the last stitch for the row. I'll close it off with a slip stitch. Then to start your next row, again chain two. Okay. Oops, <laughs> I did the stitch again. Now feel right, I guess. So now chain two. And then for this last row. It's basically the same, but instead of doing an increase of three double crochets, you just have to make an increase of two double crochets for the next stitch. Okay, so that's two double crochets in the same hole. Now I move on to the next stitch, which is a double crochet. Just one double crochet. And after that, make two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's one, two, then a double crochet again on the next stitch. So again, like the previous rows, just do that alternately until the end of your row. After months of putting this project on hold, I'm a few stitches away of finally finishing it. And so again, close that row off with a slip stitch. Okay, so make sure to pull Pull the yarn long enough so you, you can hide um, that thread. So just pull that yarn out and then pull that stitch so that it won't come loose. And just to be sure I also make um, at least two knots so that um, I know that my work is safe and it won't come loose <laughs> anytime that I'm wearing it. Okay. 
Okay, so now um, let's take our threading needle and we have to thread that remaining tail of yarn through our work. So um, when I did this, I weaved it on the inside part of the skirt so that it's not showing when I'm wearing it. And also I pulled it really tight so that it won't come undone. If you want to put ruffles on your shorts or blouse or anything, um, you can use this method. So, thank you for watching!